here, this doesn't make sense. Because with where they're walking to, you can't actually go. <laughs> like you like they're walking into a place that leads to nowhere for you. Oh, so really? I have no idea where they're walking to. Cause they like go under the bridge and this is where it goes. Oh. It leads to nothing. <laughs> like <laughs> so are they like teleporters? I, Magic I magicians? Yes so. I just, I wish they would have just had the there's, characters like go past them maybe, around the circle thing. Maybe there's a path back there and Surge is just too polite to go down it. <laughs> maybe. Anyway, let's check out the Islander. Beneath the Sacred Sword, the Warriors lie. Both. 13th. 13th, Acacia Dragoon, Grandmaster Gar Garai. Garai. 14th, Acacia Dragoon, Grandmaster Dario. So Dario must be the brother, and Garai is the father. Seems that way. And Glenn is the next in line to possess the Einlandzer! Well, he's a private right now. Only those worthy can wield the Einlander. Oh, is this like a Mighty Thor thing? Yo! If that's <laughs> the moment, he gets to pick it up if he's worthy. Oh, and when it's when it... Okay, I'm... I'm ooh. Ooh, is Glenn one of the three choices? Uh, not right now, no. <gasps> you can talk to Corsa, though. What? What? Who? That guy over there by the boat. Oh, by the boat. Um... How do I talk to him? I tried. Let's press X. I tried! I guess I have to talk to Corsa. You have to face him. I... I am! I'm... He's on the beach right there. You're facing away from him. What? Oh my god! I thought. Okay. <laughs> There's a mermaid in the water. Okay. Corch is sitting on the sand. I thought that he was literally just the pontoon of the boat. Oh. <laughs> I literally thought. It, it doesn't help. They need another camera angle, honestly. This is. Uh... No, no, no. That would be too much memory. And that guy rushed and hid as it is as soon as I got there. It was a hilarious sight. <laughs> Why? He's obviously like a 14 year old kid. <laughs> yeah, that's great! Oops, I've got <laughs> customers! Like Sorry! Christian I'll Bale and the Batman. some big fish next time you come <laughs> by! Alright, Korcha, but are they really gonna be big this time? Weak. You only ever catch small fry. Your boating skills are first class, but your fishing skills suck! <laughs> Shots fired. Ah, shut up! See ya! It's you guys! You're tourists, right? <laughs> the best of all the ways of time! My name's Korcha! I'm here from Goldov! <laughs> He's a, a ferryman! Half possessed, I guess. <laughs> no, that was just for you. <laughs> I can take you anywhere you like with this boat. I take money, but don't worry, it's not that much. My boating skills are quite famous around here. I guarantee a comfortable ride. Hi, you. We want to get to Viper Manor. Can you take us there? Viper Manor? What y'all gonna do up in that place? <laughs> so I go deep because it, when he does the cha, right? Uh, I think of a wrestler, you know, being a hype man. Oh. You know, like, oh, I'm thinking more like uh, Cajun. Oh. That's how I interpret his. How book. would that be? I I have I used I had a Cajun friend. He never did anything like that. Uh, like the doncha. Like I definitely think is like Cajun. Doncha, doncha, doncha no. He and they also be... like talk quick. Uh, you're gonna go steal treasure from the vaults or something? <laughs> doncha. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't try Cajun. <laughs> go back to Christian Bale. <laughs> I'm the word honky pads. <laughs> I have the bad man. <laughs> Don't get snipping into your customer's privacy. I gotta take us down or what? As long as you can pay me, I'll take you anywhere you want. Alfred. <laughs> get the bat boat ready. My name's Ken. Who name's Alfred now? <laughs> and you, you're Lucius. It's just that I don't know how to get to the manor. If you want to get there, bring someone who does. Oh. Oh. So we're setting up things here. So this guy's the boat, so if we wanted to get the thief, we would bring him back here. Because we've secured a boat now. Yep. Okay. So that's one way into the manor. Okay. Way. We found one way. 
Okay. Uh, and we're making some progress. Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> look, reading dialogue and cracking flat earther jokes is, it, it takes top priority in these LPs, okay? That is a good point. I think from now on, we'll make it an effort in every video. We'll say something about <laughs> the rotundness of the earth. <laughs> I won't go so far as to say it's a perfect sphere, because it's not. But we will <laughs> say it should probably go on a keto diet. It just, it doesn't make sense for it to be flat. Arr, no you're not selling it all. Oh, a Viper Festival isn't a Viper Festival until you have Viper churros, right? Am I right, bro? Yeah, buddy. This isn't going well. I'm setting a bad example for my little brother. Shoot, do you think 100G is too much for Way one churro? too much. Um, too much. Just as I thought. I had a hunch that it was just a tad too much. How much would you charge for it? 1G, no. Um, let's say 20. <laughs> I don't what? know what you could get me for. I, I, okay. I'll, I'll say it now. You can't mess this up. Okay. So even if you put in a number that's too low, he'll say it's too low and let you offer a different price. Is there? Oh, okay. He'll 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 actually decide. Okay. Yeah. I'll be out of business within the hour at that price. And then you can just talk to him again and be like, "Hey, I think that's too much." How much are you going to charge for it? So, uh, one of it is too much. Let's go sixty. Okay, then I'll lower the price a bit to match that. Yeah, so he's accepted that price. Okay. This, this is a recurring thing. Like, after a story beat, you can come back here and talk to him and see how it went. Okay. Uh, shall I draw you a portrait um, of Kid? scribble dee doo <laughs> what, what were you expecting? Thanks! <laughs> You're like, I've seen that one already. It's in the, it's in the wooden box right there. <laughs> the I, NBC's I not, like, what? Huh? I did not notice this back here. This is the, the Nikki guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks cool. Hard rocker kind of thing. Hair metal vibes. Yeah, he reminds me of like <laughs> Steven Tyler or Stephen Perry. Tyler, is it Tyler? Whoever's the guy. I can tell you with certainty it's not Tyler Perry. Whoever's the guy that's the lead singer of Aerosmith. That's who I'm thinking of. Uh, Steve Tyler. Are you sure it's not Steven? It's something. It's a thing. Um... What's the name of the actress who plays... I right, Liv Tyler. It's Steve Tyler. Oh, who's Liv Tyler? She's the um, uh, Arwen in uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> no. There's no way that that is the sister of the man who is the lead yes! singer of Aerosmith. Yes! She's the sister of the lead singer of Aerosmith. That's such a weird thing for that person. You can, you can Google it right now. Nah, I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I'll look it up later. <laughs> Comments below. You idiot! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody tell me about how much I don't know about Zippo. pop culture. Welcome. This here is the official blacksmith of the KC Dragoons. We carry only the best goods. Come and take a look. Yes. Cool. Uh, forge, weapons. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you can forge copper and iron weapons. You're currently on bone. So either one's going to be an upgrade. Uh, if you find the item, and I'm not going to spoil it for you because it's kind of overpowered, you can actually disassemble an item in this town, and you'll be able to get iron stuff right now. Okay. Which is like, you shouldn't be able to get it for like another 10 uh, growth stars. So, disassemble weapons. Mm -hmm. Copper, bone, bone, bone. Okay, so I don't seem to have it. Also, nobody can use the bone axe at this point in the game. Nobody can use it. Well, it's an axe. That's for Karsh, clearly. Right, but you're not going to find a character before upgrading that will get any benefit out of the bone axe. You might as well just Dang it! I can't, I can't craft the thing that gives greater accuracy. Those um, don't give greater accuracy? No, there's an accessory that does. The silver loop does? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can only ever get mail or helmets or weapons from the armor. Every other accessory you find in the game. Okay, so copper swallow, copper dagger. Oh, nice, it highlights who can use it. Yeah, Okay. and it lets you know if they've already got something same level or worse. Uh, so okay. the up triangle is obviously like that weapon will be better than what they're holding. Okay, wait, where is the up triangle? On their portrait. 
the little yellow thing in the bottom right corner. Oh my god! I thought that was just part of the, their portrait. <laughs> no. Okay, copper glove. <laughs> Bessem, copper 29. Yep. Ladle, iron 26. <laughs> okay. Uh, copper pick, iron pick. Oh, and that thing there is the roster of all the characters in the game. So you can see how many you've got and how I, many you've I got can to go. See, I saw that. I, that was the first thing I noticed is look at all the negative space. <laughs> okay, so we can't really make too much right now. I think you can get one more copper if you disassemble the axe. Oh, but I don't want to disassemble the axe. Why? Nobody, nobody can use it. By the time you get an axe wielding character, bone will be obsolete. You wouldn't be able to kill anything or damage anything with bone. Oh, okay. Um, That's why I'm telling you that. Like, you should... Everybody disassembles the bone axe. Well, I have two of them, so... Oh, you do? No. Uh, what? No, no, you had, you had two copper. Oh. Disassembling it gave you one more copper. Oh! Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um... Can't do anything disassembling these stuffs. Okay. Uh, armor? No. Accessories? No. No. Forge? Weapons? Yeah. Uh, let's get... Copper Swallow. Probably a good idea. You definitely, if you're going to infiltrate Viper Manor, at least you should have Copper Weapons. Copper Dagger. It is possible to get Iron Stuff, like, here right now before you go. And Bessem made of co oh we need carapace for that. Yeah. Uh, then we'll grab. Uh, also, you have to bring the guide into the manor, so they're probably gonna take up your third place slot. Okay. Like you probably, if I can guess, you probably won't take Lena into the. Manor. Do you have any iron with you? We've only been out of it for the longest time. We could all, we could make stronger items if only we had iron. Mm. What are you doing? Just taking a look. Okay. Maybe I had maybe I had something with iron. I, I don't know. Oh no! You can look and see what you'll get just by disassembling. Going into the disassemble menu, that tells you what materials you can get. What do you want? For the sake of our show, if you got the business, take it to the counter. Hey, don't tell me you want an apprentice under... You want two apprentices under Master Zappo. <gasps> Zappo! Wait, I thought his name was Zippo. No, that's his wife's name. Oh, the wife. Okay. Shoot, basic. My master ain't gonna take any other apprentice besides me. Besides, he's been possessed by Rao at the moment. <laughs> Zappo... <laughs> oh, hi! Oh, yeah. Now that's a blacksmith. Oh, ah! How many times do I have to? Oh God! How many times Scottish. do I have to say it? Then I let me just. Then I let me customers back here. How many years are you with my wife? Give me wife. I'm not even gonna try Scottish. That's oh man. I'll do it. I can do a pretty okay Scottish. Uh, okay. What's a big ape like you doing worrying about such trivial stuff? Don't you be could be complaining up a storm? Just one or two customers coming to talk to you. There's not one, two, or three. There, or there's not one or two, there's three. Ah, oh, you'll never kin the delicate heart of a craftsman like yours, truly. I didn't expect a layman like you to kin what I'm saying, but the art of smithing may seem only like physical labor, but it requires far more mental prowess. Every time the hammer strikes, a wee bit of my soul goes with it. Ah, yes, what I'm saying is your soul is what makes the sword. So if you're standing there yapping and distracting me, I cannot focus some my soul into the steel. Do you can? If so, then get going. That's pretty decent. That's, I try. That's, that's a pretty good Scottish accent. Uh, why can you not leave me be? This sword is no good now. Time to start over. If I were better at rolling my R's and uh, talking that fast, it would be better. Well, that's what Spanish class is for. <laughs> Roll your R's. Yeah, fun fact about college kids. Get out your R's. Don't to study. Um, hi! Oh, you're a character for sure. <laughs> okay, that, oh, it's a guy. Is so, it? Swordsmanship is as beautiful as a rose. Oh, wait. He's oh, the rose 
Is that a is that, is that a guy? That is a. Uh, uh, what do you think? Tell. The rouge ambition hidden beneath its beauty. Oh, these French. words fit moi perfectly. Of oh, pardon me, Monsieur. <laughs> moi forgot to introduce myself. My name is Pierre. I am renting this room for Monsieur Zappa. I'm on my way to see this general Viper soon. From what I hear, there is a vacancy among the four devils of the Acacia Dragoons. Also Indian somehow. I have no idea what I'm going for here. <laughs> Look, I can barely do an Australian <laughs> accent. What do you expect from me? <laughs> Fine, I'll do the, the Monty Python. Such a position is perfect for such a splendid swordsman as moi! And I will fight in your general direction! That is perfect. One graceful flash of one sword will surely have them saluting moi as the guest of honor! Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries. <laughs> that was I'm, actually really close. But I have lost more precious men. Oh, god dang it. I'm going all over the place. Metal, symbol of heroism. Without it, I will certainly be turned away at the, uh, turned away at the gate. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. What am I going to do? <laughs> what am I to do? Uh, so he is another way yes. into, and taking him will cut out Guile. Obviously. Taking Guile will cut out Pierre. Obviously. Obviously, but so we need to find number three. That Pierre staying at Zappa's place says he's a hero, but it sounds fishy. <laughs> In the first place, the way he talks is just too strange. Anyone that believes him is another too is is either too honest or too gullible. <laughs> Got it. Good thing I ran away as fast as I could. Uh, I don't, can't can't. There we go. I just found something super. <gasps> is that iron? A shiny metal on my chest that suits me perfectly. I know someone who's looking for that. Well, I'd be a thief if I didn't return lost items. And I want to be a hero, not a thief. Okay, here you go. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, oh, <laughs> kid. Oh, you were so worth bringing along. <laughs> so, now you have the item you're looking for to get Pierre. Oh. Yeah, he's looking oh, for his metal. It's okay. literally right outside. Okay, okay, I get it. He's a phony. He's a bit of a dunce. He, he, okay. Of the three characters you can bring into the manor, he's the worthless one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of, you, you kind of felt I gathered that. I, I went, oh, okay. <laughs> Me? I love boats, but I can't become a sailor because I get seasick. That's why I decided to become a ship's craftsman and build the fastest and awesomest boat ever made. So my first step is to watch all the boats here for research. Research and research. Ain't I smart? Um, Out of all the boats I've seen, that boat at the docks is the best and fastest of them all. That's what I would say, but whatever. I wish I could build one like it. I like boats. I like ferries. But I really like sailboats. You're not going to go to the house? That's the manor, right? No. Oh. Viper, I, I, Viper Manor is outside of Terminus. Oh, okay. That was very unclear. No, this is just... A really big house. And a really, 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 really far walk up the hill. Well, it's got to be far enough away from the smelly peasants. <sighs> Obviously. <gasps> okay. Hmm? I wish you would look up when Xenogears came out. This shot, this literal camera angle <laughs> with this uh, uh, room orientation and, and the furnishings is literally a room in Xenogears. Are you the young master's friend? Or do you wish to see Master Gog? Master Gog is presently away, but he will be back shortly. Xenogears was released like eight months before Chrono Cross. Okay. Or no, sorry, a year and a half before Chrono Cross. Year so that's why the so the soundtracks probably sound similar. Yeah. Because these are probably like Composed um, around the same time. It's the composer on the same time, and so he's kind of doing samples of the same mm. kind of thing, and he's composing from yeah, those same from those same, same samples. Like mindset. Yeah, he's in the he's in the same same vibe. So that that actually makes a lot of sense if they were made so close. They together. could have been using if it's hand painted scenery there too. It could have been same guy who painted this stuff. No, no, it's not hand painted. It, oh, it's okay. it's a uh, it's um 3D environment. Oh. Hi, Vaughn. Oh, God. 
It's Van Gogh, not Gog. Right. <sighs> Bummer. <laughs> that is not it. Something is missing. I believe I am on the right track, however. What is your opinion? But is it art? <laughs> <laughs> what can make what can change the nature of a man, Van? You really think so? Why thank you, but I still need to hone my skills a little more. Ah uh, yes, yeah, spoken like any good artist. My work sucks, even though it's amazing. <laughs> oh. Is this a go? Father, when did you come home? Vaughn's father go. Okay. <laughs> In case it wasn't obvious... Ah, oh, I came back just a moment ago. The ship docked ahead of schedule. How have you been? After a short break, I shall be on my way again. Oh, Father, off on another business trip? Yes, that's right. This is another important business opportunity. I shall be gone for a while again. Why don't you paint less and start studying accounting for a change? You'll never amount to anything! You'll never that's make true. a living off of painting! He's not wrong. Is there it? If there is anything you need, tell the maid. She shall give you some money. Well, I'm off. <laughs> also, I don't see those guests behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ignore the protagonists. Who's the guy that's made uh, uh, Hayao Miyazaki? Like a Hayao Miyazaki type. He's just constantly disappointed in his son. <laughs> <laughs> Father had promised to go see the festival with me. Aww. <clears throat> but then he does not really care about the promises he makes. <laughs> Just like I be zombie. <laughs> What's going on, huh? Uh, so you were Von, okay? Van Go, I uh, Von Go. Von and Go. It's Von not the same and person. Go. I do not believe Father even notices the view here. The colors of the sea and sky far surpass the beauty of those gems he collects. I do wonder if he really was a painter in his youth. It is rather hard to believe. Oh, I see. He made all this money on furry art, didn't he? Well, NFTs, but yes. <laughs> Furry art NFTs. The original non-functional token was art. By the way, I, I saw, I'm in a Discord with a lot of art people. People who do furry art online for commissions make some crazy bang. Hmm. I don't know. know why. Oh, you know why. Apparently, the furries have the money. All of the money. And they are not shy about spending it. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, what's up? Lately, I cannot sleep well at night. I can't help but be afraid that the radical dreamers are coming to steal my treasure. There they are, mentioned again. Ever since my wife passed away, examining my treasure collection has been my most enjoyable pastime. But now that I have everything I ever wanted, I sometimes begin to wonder, what is the meaning of my life? Hmm. Have I been able to accomplish anything meaningful? Other than selling NFTs, no. <laughs> But this actually makes sense coming from this guy. He yes. lives his life. He understands. He's like, wait, I've got everything. Now what? Oh, you're right. It compared to the village from earlier? <laughs> compared, compared to, to Lena? 16-year-old standing it's, behind Exactly. Him. Of course, I have never stopped working diligently. I've even earned myself this nice house and a good maid to keep it tidy. But I'm also wondering if I've lost something very dear to me. For now, all I can do is just keep holding on to my treasures. Hmm. You know, your son's upstairs. Material goods never buy you happiness, people. They fade away with time. Ozima Whoa! It's full of dragon's glory. Wowee. Oh, okay, there's nothing else to that. Yeah, it's just uh, a little Anything liqueur. Step one, save money. <laughs> step two, save money. Step three, skip three and four. Uh, step five, save more money. Step six, question mark, question mark, question mark. Step seven, profit. Hooray. That is actually really good advice, kids. If you're not sure what to spend your money on, just save it. Just save it. Lucky the cat. Just save it. Pretty much. Hmm. Should I tell you when you've missed a hidden item? Yes. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. If it's just equipment. Yes. Oh, okay. There's a item that you did not find in there. Okay. In this room? Yep. No, wait, no. Like, in the room you're just in. Oh, oh. Okay. It's behind the staircase. Well, that's actually, I was thinking about this. Hey! Profiteer first. RPG main character, I'm allowed. Woo! Uh, it's an accessory. I think it, like, gives you 20% more gold or something like that when you have it equipped. I could use that! <laughs> uh, 
slightly increases the amount of gold received at the end of battle. Nice. Oh yeah, the other downside to skipping fights, you don't get as much gold. Says the guy telling you me, oh no, you don't have to do fights. Wait, I mean, you, you don't have to do them. But they are useful for getting money. Yes, as I gather. Okay. Well... You're not going to go to the Viper Festival? I'm going to go do some off-screen grinding. 